So friends, we have taken a new problem to apply the basics that we have learned and to learn how we can, you know, step by step approach the problem. So here goes the problem. There is a small m kept on a larger mass capital M. The length of capital M is small l. All right. The coefficient of friction between small m and capital M is mu by 2 and coefficient of friction between capital M and the ground is mu. Okay. Here we need to find out how much time small m takes to cross the capital M. Right. Now what comes in your mind when you look at this problem? When we look at this problem, the entire system is moving towards the right hand side, right? It is moving with velocity v. It just started. Now what is the direction of friction force on capital M? From the ground, of course, it is moving relatively forward. So from the ground, there must be a friction in the backward direction on capital M, right? What about friction between small m and capital M? Now small m was at rest initially and it has been pulled towards the right hand side because of the friction between capital M and small m. So that is the reason why friction force on small m will be forward direction. Right? So now let us take one by one these two masses and will represent all the forces and acceleration. If we take a small m mass what are forces will be applied on it? There will be a gravitational force, right? Its value will be mg. And there will be normal reaction between capital M and small m, n1, right? And then there will be a friction, mu times n1. Okay? This force since this normal reaction is applied by capital M on small m, the small m also applies normal reaction in, e in opposite direction. Okay, So this will be a pair of n1. So this is n1 force, right? There will be mg force downward on the bigger mass and there will be normal reaction from the ground on capital M. Okay, now this friction force is applied by capital M on small m. So there must be a pair of this friction force on the left hand side. Let us call this mu times n1. Okay, now there will be another friction. There will be another friction between capital M and the ground. That friction force value will be mu times n2. See the coefficient of friction value between small m and capital M is mu by 2. So let us correct this. This is mu by 2 into n1. Okay. And similarly here it is mu by 2 into n1. Okay. Now let us write down Newton's second law of equation for small m and capital M. At times what happens students get confused with the fact that velocity is given and they start to visualize in terms of velocity but you should remember the Newton's second law of equation is for the acceleration it is not for velocity right there is no direct relation between instantaneous velocity and acceleration acceleration is rate of change of velocity okay so if we uh, write the Newton's second law of equation for small m along horizontal direction I'll get it as mu by 2 n1 is the only force along horizontal direction isn't it this will be equal to mass time acceleration of small m fine and along vertical direction i'll get n1 minus mg is equal to 0 since there is no acceleration in vertical direction all right now let us write down equation for capital m also Along the horizontal direction, what all forces you see? There is 
म्यू बाई टू एन वन फोर्स बैकवर्ड डायरेक्शन माइनस म्यू टाइम्स एन टू फोर्स राइट दिस विल बी इक्वल टू मास टाइम एक्सेशन ऑफ कैपिटल एम फाइन सो एक्सेशन ऑफ स्मॉल एम विल बी इन दिस वे लेट एस कॉल दिस एज ए वन एंड फॉर कैपिटल एम एक्सेशन इज बैकवर्ड डायरेक्शन वी आर कॉलिंग इट एज ए टू ओके अलॉन्ग द वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन वी विल गेट एम जी प्लस एन वन माइनस एन टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो राइट सो वी हैव फोर इक्वेशंस हाउ मेनी वेरिएबल्स वी हैव वी हैव ए वन ए टू एन वन एंड एन टू सो वी कैन सॉल्व दीज फोर इक्वेशन टू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए वन एंड ए टू सो नाउ वी कैन एज्यूम दैट वी हैव द वैल्यू ऑफ ए वन एंड वैल्यू ऑफ ए टू Now the question says how much time it takes for this small m to topple from the capital M. Now, if we see the motion of small m, it goes from this end, point number one, and it must cross this point number two to topple over. Okay, so the total. Length it covers is L. Now, is this length an actual length or it is a relative length compared to or with respect to capital M? It is a relative displacement, right? What will happen? The small m and capital M will move together. With respect to capital M, small m moves a distance of L. Fine, and what is the acceleration along the length? Along the length, it has acceleration a one. Fine, and capital M has acceleration backward direction, which is a two. So net acceleration of approach from one to two is what? This one, let us suppose, is small m, which is moving with a one. and this capital m is coming towards it with a2 so acceleration of approach is a1 plus a2 let us call this as an we'll say that this is a net acceleration okay now initial velocity of approach is how much we have seen that both have started moving together this point number 1 and point number 2 both are going in this direction with same velocity so their acceleration so their velocity of approach is zero so initial velocity is zero and displacement which is relative displacement since we are talking about relative variable is l so which equation comes in your mind to find the value of time s equals to ut plus half at square right so if i use s equal to ut plus half at square here and i substitute value of s as l u as 0 and a as a1 plus a2 i'll get the value of t okay so this is how you solve the particular question i hope now you feel comfortable in applying the basics on problem like this okay so thanks for watching the video we'll come back with few more problem solving videos which will be testing you on different type of concepts